Senator Kay's five year jail term for police impersonators. I'm, I'm sure this story would interest you. We're speaking a lot about police brutality in most recent times. The Senate on Wednesday passed the police reform bill and approved a five year jail term for any individual that impersonates a police officer in order to carry out kidnappings. The bill was, however, silent on punishment for any police officer that engages in excessive use of force against civilians, leading to injury or death, as the Senate agreed that such officer should be subjected to police internally disciplinary measures. Wemi Mom, so in your opinion, which would you think Nigerians would climb up for more at this point? Would it be or police officers or people who are pretending to be police officers committing crime under the guise of being police officers or actual police officers committing the crime and abusing the power given to them? I'm not impressed. You know I'm not impressed by these things. Is Nigeria lacking in laws? No. Are we lacking in policies? No. Those are not the issues. So you want to arrest impersonators. Again, my question would be, how are you going to do it? How? Number one, we don't have a database, proper, accurate database of Nigerians. How do I identify this policeman is a fake policeman? As in, you know what, would, what I wanted to say, I'm moye, as in plenty, you will mm -hmm. see plenty of them. But as a, as, a, as a civilian, how do I identify? Those are the issues you should be looking at, structure for the police and make it good. So Nigerians can know this is a policeman. And remember what you said, Olive, about questioning or checking a policeman yeah. before he arrests you. That's still in my mind, I'm like, how? So if I can ask a policeman, please identify yourself. And if Nigerians have been... There's a lot of sensitization about how to identify a true policeman. And if policemen, because the fake policeman and the true policeman, what's the difference? Most of them behave the same way. It's the they same are, way. They you, are, can't are rude. Tell, you can't you even can't tell, tell a Nigerian. You can't tell a Nigerian policeman that identify yourself. You're likely that, going to get a hot slap. Remember slap, that, that we were just told oh. recently to, be, to start speaking pidgin to the policemen to avoid kasala. The, the, the most ridiculous statement I've heard Why? this year. Why say... Speak pigeon to the policeman to avoid castle. Like coming from a highly placed police officer, I'm like, what's going on with that? So if I can't speak pigeon, that's an excuse for someone to shoot at me. So we're, we're teaching people to embrace their power so selfishly and to sit like they are the lion of the tribes of their homes. Right. So before they you own you, they exactly, own everything. You have to worship them. Now I'm not advocating that we be rude to policemen. No, nobody should be rude to anybody, policeman or right. not. Nobody that. should be rude to anybody. You should treat people with kindness and courtesy. If you, you expect it, Exactly. Give it. What you should give is yes. what you expect. However, we need to keep talking about these conversations, mm. you know. The, at the end of the day, some, someone said that the Nigerian police force is no different from the average Nigerian. And I thought about it for a minute. How? The person said that we are a function of our system. You know, we are a function of the rot that has eating into the fragments of our society. So no. these people who are even policemen are first of all Nigerians. They are the ones that have But they were trained for the job. Oh, that, they? That's the unfortunate thing. The fact that we are saying that the, the standard in a lot of things are dropping in, has, have dropped in our country. You know why I went to education, you know, in, in, in a lot of, yeah. in our healthcare. And of course, when we will the police be an ask exception? Ask the average Nigerian youth right now one question. Do you want to be a policeman? The answer would be no. Go take it a step further. Do you want your child to become a policeman? They will tell you never. God forbid. Uh, good. If I'm a bad broadcaster, is it excused away by saying it's a Nigerian problem? No. If you go to the doctor and you see a quack doctor, a doctor who is not as skilled as it should be, and there's medical negligence, do we say it's because of the Nigerian factor? We should stop excusing some of these things. If you're not doing your job well, you're not doing it well. Mm. You were trained for it, you were recruited for it, you are being paid for it. If you're tired of that job, leave it. So how go trained to something were else. they? But we have policemen who actually got into the job because they didn't get any job anywhere Most of them else. Did. Most oh, yes, of them that did. happens a lot, not just in the police sector, but in, in the education sector mm. as well. You know, you've tried, you've tried not as And then they just ended up there. Somewhere. So it's not like they went in there with all their heart and they're going there for actual service. If One we of have the to major truthful. issues I have seen that we're yet to identify is that we put our policemen in barracks. That's, a, that's coming from our military experience. Why are policemen living in barracks? In civilized countries, look at the Scandinavian countries, they're good examples when you're talking about development. The policemen live amongst the people. That's what it should be. You should live with the people you are policing. People know you. They know who you are. You know them. But this distance of, oh, you are there, and then we don't know what's going on with, with you within those walls. Mm. The barracks are rotten. They, they are places where no human being should be living in, that you fence them off. That's a very valid claim. You fence them off why from a the lot people. of people have even been clamoring for community policing right. as well. But we will always you know, continually have this
to enjoy more of these our Ogonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.